Okay, this problem is given us f of x, which is x to the fourth minus 2ax squared plus b. And we're supposed to find all the critical points and all the inflection points of f of x, assuming a and b are constants. All right, so part a, um, finding all critical points, that means I have to have f prime of x. So f prime of x is going to be 4x to the third minus 4ax, and the derivative of b is zero, so that's our first derivative. And to find inflection points, I need the second derivative. So let's just do that right away. So that gives me 12x squared minus 4a. Now to find the critical points, I solve the equation zero equals 4x cubed minus 4ax. And then similarly for the inflection points, I need to solve zero equals 12x squared minus 4a. So to solve this one first, I'm going to factor out a 4x out of both of these. So 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. 4x times a gives me 4ax. I know that 4x can equal zero and x squared minus a can also equal zero. So one critical point is at x equals zero. Another critical point is where x squared is equal to a. x is equal to plus or minus the square root of a. Now for the inflection points, I'm gonna factor out four out of both of these. So zero equals four times the quantity three x squared minus a. So four will never equal zero, but I know that three x squared minus a can equal zero. So three x squared equals a, x squared equals a divided by three. So in the end, x is equal to plus or minus square root of a over three. So these two critical points are gonna be important for part b, which says, Find the values of the parameters a and b if f has a critical point at the point 2, 5. So, part b. If there's a critical point at 2, 5, two things are going to happen. Sorry, my paper is stuck here. Two things are going to happen. So we know that 2, 5, if it's a, if it's a point that's a critical point, we know it also lies on the graph of f. and x equal two is where one critical point is. That comes from two right here. So I know that x equals zero, but x equals plus or minus a. So based on this portion, I know that two is supposed to equal plus or minus square root of a, which will give me the value for a. Squaring both sides, I have four equals a. So there's one value. To find a b, I use part one up here, that the fact that two, five lies on the graph of f. So here's our equation for f right here. So I'm gonna plug in two for x. Sorry, it's not focusing for some reason. I'm gonna plug in two for x and five for f of x. So let's do that. So five for f of x is equal to two to the fourth minus two times a times two squared plus b. I know a is four, so I'm gonna put four right in there. Now I'm gonna solve for b. Two to the fourth is 16 minus, so I have two times four is eight times four is 32 plus b. 16 minus 32 is negative 16. Adding 16 to both sides, I have b is equal to 21. So I have found the values of a and b if I know that two comma five is a critical point. Now part c says, if there is a critical point at two five, where are the inflection points? Well right here I know that x equals plus or minus a over three is an inflection point. I know that a is equal to four. So that tells me that plus or minus the square root of four over three is the inflection points. 
I guess is is not proper. It should be are the inflection points. <laughs> All right. That's how that problem is solved.